I'm reading from the New King James Version. It says, By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to the place which he would receive as an inheritance. And he went out, not knowing where he was going. By faith, he dwelt in the land of promise, as in a foreign country. Dwelling in tents with Isaac and, and Jacob, the heir with him of the same promise. For he waited for the city which had foundation, whose builder and maker is God. Let us pray. My own wife. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the opportunity that we have today to come in your presence. We exalt your name and we bless your name. We invite you now to come into our hearts and speak to us through your divine word. And Lord, I just ask you to empower each and every one of us. You, this, your man servant, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our subject tonight is one that I'm sure you're familiar with. Because the theme of this camp meeting is Ebenezer. Meaning, hitherto, our Lord helped us. My subject is, we have come this far by faith. The God of heaven and earth has manifested himself in a mighty way throughout history. God is not an absentee landlord. He is intricately involved in the affairs of his chosen one. He longs to fellowship with us. He longs to, to guide and to, to, and to direct us. Especially when we are obedient to his will. It is faith in God that has brought us thus far. The book of Hebrew is a very interesting book, a book of history. A book that points backward, but also points forward. It's a book that reminds us where we are coming from. But it also reminds us where we are going. There we find in the book, the supreme position and authority of Jesus Christ. In Hebrew, we talk about the rest that remain to the people of God. It talks about the exalted status of Christ as our high priest. It expands and talks much about the priesthood ministry of Jesus Christ. But I will focus in primarily on this area wherein is an appeal to all of us to be faithful and to be godly in our living. My primary, primary preaching portion is in the book of in chapter 11 of the book of Hebrews. In this chapter, where our preaching portion is carefully nestled, we discovered that the emphasis was on faith of the worthies, such so as Abel, Enoch, Abraham, Sarah, Isaac, and Jacob. These men and women saw themselves as strangers 
and pilgrim to the earth. Whatever their attainment was, whatever they achieved on this earth was as a result of their faith and their confidence in God. We as a people are coming from far. For me, Amen. who was born in Jamaica, I Jamaica. Came through hard trials and tribulations. My great-grandparents came out of the great country of Ghana. The continent of Africa. It's been a painful journey. But God was over us. And so God did not forsake us. But God was with us. So it is with you, most of you. To these countries of the United States and Canada, Ebay, America, and the Canada, you did not lose your faith in God. But you align yourself with the people of God. That's what it Of trusting and believing in God. 
We must 
the money is in the It took me a while to find a service station. I But I eventually found the service station. I filled up my car with fuel. And I'm the same you know, my The GPS picks up where I was. And the GPS says, I have. And again, the journey again. And I'll sign the chair to and send me trust me. But when I got back to where I thought I should be, the GPS tells me I must turn around. And I'm GPS is I can say, Child will be. Well, I turn around. And I went back to where the GPS said I should go. And I thought it was going to take me to my destination. But the GPS said I was going to turn around again. And I was to turn around again. And I realized that something is wrong with this GPS. And I said, GPS. For a year and nine months now, I have been putting my trust in that GPS. But the GPS failed me. I saw that there is a You dare not 
I will trust in the Lord till I die. I'm going to stand in my field till I die. I'm going to stay by the battlefield till I die. I'm going to treat everybody right. I'm going to treat everybody right. I'm going to do that until I die. My friends, before I conclude, I want you to know this. The patriarchs of old. The patriarchs of old. I jump on my when, when you read the book of Hebrews, they all survive by faith. Because they had faith in God. Because they put their trust and their confidence in God. And I'm saying they in God has promised them a place. In his eternal kingdom. God also has a place for you and me in his kingdom. In fact, I was reading Revelation chapter 7. And the, the John was talking about the sealing of God's and he said, the tribes of Judah were seen. Okay, I said, Judah is a good one, so far, so I know. Twelve thousand were seen of the tribe of Benjamin, of Ruben. Ruben, who was so a good one, and was so I know. Twelve thousand were seen of the tribe of Dan. God, who was so a good one, and was so I know. Of the tribe of Asher. And so Asher was so the tribe of Naphtali. is open to the of the tribe of Manasseh. Manasseh is open to the of the tribe of Simeon. Simon, and the tribe of Levi, 12,000 Levi also a to the tribe of Second, the tribe of Zebulun, twelve thousand of the of Joseph, twelve thousand were sealed. Of the tribe of Benjamin, twelve thousand were sealed. Benjamin and the tribe of Simeon, twelve thousand But I ask, what tribe do I belong? And I mean, some of them are What tribe do you belong to? What you know? My tribe name is not there. But does that mean I won't be sealed? I continue to read. It said, after this I look. And behold, a white horse. And he that sat on it is called faithful and true. And he that sat on it is called and people and tongues standing before the throne of God and before the Lamb and all with white robes and they had palm leaves in their hands and the answer came back to the prophets and the question was asked the prophet was asked we don't know what tribe they are from. What tribe they are from. We are they. We know who we are. The Bible said these are they. The Bible says we know who they are. Wash their own. And they white. In the blood of the Lamb. And they don't know the tribe I'm from. And they don't know the tribe I'm from. And he 
Here are the patients of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and have a faith of Jesus Christ. People of Ghana, bless the faith. Let's be faithful to the word of God. It is God who has called us. It is God who is with us. It is God who is